Os Konnichiwa Minasan, and welcome to Oshita Karate, where we look deeper into Ishinru Karate. And in today's video, we're going to look closer at our dachi, or our stances, and how we can use them in our kata, and how we can use them to our advantage in self-defense. Now, I had done a seminar, and I had uh, actually taught what I'm going to show you today, and as I was doing, I thought, you know, I need to do a YouTube video on this, and maybe... Uh, uh, share this uh, with other folks. It's nothing, nothing uh, uh, revolutionary, but it is something that I hope will help new Ishinru students, uh, people who you know obviously uh, uh, start studying studying the art. I hope that they're going to maybe see this video and their eyes will open, and it might inspire them to hang in there and to to uh, want to continue learning. And of course, folks that are still training, I hope that you might find something new from this video that you can learn from. All right, so what are we looking at today? We're gonna to look at how we can apply Seisan Dachi. Seisan Dachi is our feet straight, just one foot in front of the other. Okay, pretty simple. And we can do Seisan Dachi forward or backwards. Okay. We're also gonna look closer at Seuchen Dachi, how we can use that. Our Naihanchi Dachi, we're going to look closer at our Zenkutsu Dachi. This Dachi is also applied in Kusanku Kata. And we'll even take some time to look at Kosa Dachi, all right, which we twist into. Now, if you um, are trained in Ishinru, you immediately uh, recognize these, these stances. And if you're new to Ishinru, you're going to find that we st tend to stand a little taller than uh, uh, typical karate uh, styles. And uh, we're going to, uh, that can be uh, advantageous to us. All right. So let's get right to the fun part. I have a partner with me tonight. Sir, thank you so much for helping me out. And what we're going to do tonight is we're going to use and, uh, our dachi and we're going to flow with it and uh, uh, see what happens when we apply it. Now, I did forget to mention we're going to apply our namigaeshi, our returning wave kick. Uh, we're going to use that. We're going to use uh, several things uh, with our dachi. So let's get right to the fun stuff. So I'm going to ask you to put one foot in front of the other. Thank you so much. <coughs> and folks, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to go, I'm going to be uh, my left foot forward, say San stance. And of course, we will show you different angles of how uh, this drill uh, works. So first off, speaking of drills, if you push against my shin, uh, and I'll push against yours, and you'll see if you push hard against mine, we get to play this little game, and we can try to checkmate each other, hyperextend each other's knee, like right now, I think I might have the advantage to you, and you could mess around with yours. So this is a fun game to play where we can uh, uh, feel, and we can work our, our dachi like so. But now, let's apply our different stances. So as I got my... Uh, left foot forward seisan stance working, I'm going to wrap my left foot around into naihanchi dachi around my opponent's ankle. Then we're going to drop into seiuchen dachi and then lean into zenkutsu dachi. And if you notice, we'll show at different angles, but your opponent's leg is hyperextended. If you see, I've got my hand, my left hand, up at the top. So we got the left hand up top to pull down, and we are going to sweep with our left foot outwards. And both of these motions are going to happen simultaneously. And when one part body part goes in one direction and the other part goes in the opposite direction, we have an effect. So as he pushes against and we lean in, we're going to sweep it, and we find ourselves in uh, uh, an advantageous position. Okay, if we'll see, show that again. We'll show it from this side. And again, slow. We're trying to learn here. It's not trying to show how, how uh, anything else. Just trying to learn. So we're in left foot forward, stance on stance. My hands are here on his shoulder. This is his left shoulder, right? And so here we are. Now, uh, it, for me, I got my seisan. I wrap around into naihanchi. Push out into Seiuchin, lean into Zenkutsu, and then sweep it out as I pull down. 
right? Now, how can we apply this in maybe a bit of a uh, uh, tussling? We're tussling inside, and we, we got ourselves in a position here. And now I feel that, and we can apply our technique. And of course, this will be happening really quickly. Uh, but for our video, we're trying to learn and do things slowly. Now, sir, we do have another option. From the same uh, drill from Saison, wrapping into Naihanchi, pressing into uh, Seiuchin and then Zenkutsu, by doing that, we're putting all the weight on the opponent's back leg. And we're making this bit leg very light, which is allows us to sweep it out. But also, sir, and we're going to go slow so we don't surprise you too much, we can quickly change direction and apply the technique slightly differently. But the point is the same. We're taking the weight. Right now, your weight is distributed even, evenly. And now we manipulate it to where I'm in an advantageous position to uh, sweep the leg or, or throw for a takedown. Thank you, sir. Now, I have one more uh, uh, um, stance I'd like to show the folks, sir. So I'll be right back. And here it is. It is kosa dachi. Kosa dachi is when we have one knee tucked by and behind the other knee. Now, you get into kosadachi a couple of ways. One is in seisan. You actually step into kosadachi. But also, in chinto, you twist into kosadachi. If you see, the lead foot makes a semicircle, and we tuck the knee by the uh, side of the other knee. <clears throat> and please remember that, because that's going to be very important in our bunkai demonstration. So if I could bother, bother you and bother you. <laughs> now, Mr. Trey, I'm going to ask you to lay down on the ground for me. If you'll lay down. And if you'll have maybe, uh, let's do your feet facing that way for me. And folks, I'm going to walk this out. So we may need to get you to scoot so they can see. That's perfect. We'll walk this out. So what we're going to do is I have a partner's right leg up. I'm going to take my left leg. I'm going to step over and tuck my left foot under his thigh. Okay. Now, with my right knee, I'm going to twist into kosadachi and apply the knee into the muscle of the uh, uh, quadrilateral. And you see we get a quick uh, tap from that. Okay. Sir, can we do that a few, a couple of other angles, maybe in this area here? Yes, sir. This is my left leg, twisting. And sir, maybe if we can have your feet that way. And I think we'll go this way here so folks can see. This might be the best view here. Here's my knee pressing into his thigh. And I am using the stance to apply that. Now, the fun is not over since I have you down here. We can apply this also with the arm. This is my partner's left arm. I step over with my left foot, tuck it under his neck, and then just like with the leg, I'll apply this into the arm. And we get a quick tap. So if we could have your head that direction and feet that way, and we'll show them one last time with this. And I really appreciate you, sir. So this is his left arm. Here's my right knee. I'm going to step over with my left foot, tuck under. My right knee is going to press just like the dachi says, I'm going to tuck the knee by my knee. But the problem is, at least for my partner, is his arm or leg, in this case arm, is in between my knee and where it needs to go. So naturally, when I try to place it, 
we get uh, a sensation. Sir, I thank you so much. And here's that stance one more time. Kosa dachi. All right? And you guys that know uh, Cezanne and Chintel, you'll, you'll get a, maybe something out of that. So what did we do tonight? We looked at Cezanne and we applied our Naihanchi and our Seiuchin and we leaned into Zenkutsu Dachi and then we used our Namegaeshi, the returning wave kick and we were able to sweep our opponent's foot away and pull down because the Dachi got all the weight on our opponent's back leg. And we also learned that because the foot was light, we were able to use our uh, uh, half uh, Hangetsu, our half moon uh, uh, movement and come around and take our partner down. And then just like moments ago, you saw how we were able to apply our kosadachi. And in this case, apply it by using our knee to uh, uh, cause some pain and uh, some disruption in our opponent's thinking. Hey, I hope you found this video interesting and I hope it elevates your bunkai when you're studying because sometimes we get caught up in our punches and our kicks and our blocks, and we forget that those stances are there too. I appreciate you very, very much, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Domo arigato gozaimashita.